A ninth grader says she has frostbite after standing outside for 10 minutes in a wet bathing suit during a fire alarm. It happened around 8.30 Wednesday morning at Como Park High School in St. Paul. 14-year-old Kayana hagen Teet says that she was in the school's pool when the fire alarm went off. While other students had gotten out earlier and were able to put on dry clothing, Kayana said she was rushed out with just her towel. John Lortzen talked with Kiana and her mother today. So, John, both are pretty upset about how the school handled this. They are. And just think about how brutally cold it was that morning. Kiana's mom says it's not so much that she was evacuated, but that she was made to stand barefoot in the bitter cold for 10 minutes. She feels the school needs a better plan before this happens to another student. On Wednesday morning, the temperature was 5 below zero, and the wind chill was 25 below. But Kiana and another student were warm inside. They were swimming as part of a health class. So the alarm went off and I got up, I was like, is it just a drill? Like, do I have to go outside? And then he was like, no, we usually don't have just fake ones in the winter. Kiana so, says she and the other student were rushed out by the teacher. Her classmate had clothes by the pool. Hers were in her locker. I grabbed my towel because it was what was by the pool. And I walked outside and it was really cold. As soon as they seen her outside in her swimsuit soaking wet and barefoot, they should have done something. Kiana says a teacher eventually gave her a jacket and one of her friends gave her a sweatshirt to wrap around her feet. But due to school policy, she wasn't allowed to sit in a faculty member's car. We kind of huddled up and made a circle around me and other kids who were cold. Eventually, a teacher did get permission to allow Kiana and her classmate to sit inside her car. But by that time, Kiana had already stood barefoot and wet for 10 minutes in some of the coldest conditions of the year. Kiana's mom picked her up and took her to the doctor, who determined she has frostbite on her feet. If I had a fire at home and brought my children out in that condition, you know, I'm sure I would be charged in some way or another if I didn't instantly bring them into a neighbor's house or something else. I mean, the ultimate goal is to keep them safe and protect your children. And they, in this instance, they did a really poor job. In a statement, St. Paul Public School officials told us they continue to work with the St. Paul Fire Marshal to regularly review these procedures, including cold weather modifications, and they will make any change based on their recommendations. They did not comment any further. It sounds like smoke from a science project is what set off the alarm. Kiana's mom told us she understands mistakes can be made, but she still wants an apology from school officials. Kiana is taking pain medication for her frostbite, but she should be okay, but still kind of a yeah. scary situation when you're stuck out oh, there yeah. and it's that brutally cold and you're soaking wet. Absolutely. So I know that she talked about they were in a health class. Did they, did they talk about why there were only two students who were in the pool? There, there's actually 30, and the way this class is uh, split up, according to Kiana, is that they have... The first half is kind of water aerobics, and then after that, it's a chance to kind of have free pool time, more or less. Mm -hmm. Well, she stays in until almost the end of class. Other students get up and leave because they want to get dressed and get ready for their next class. So she sticks around a little bit longer. Some of the other kids do that, too, just to kind of get some more swim time. All right. Thank you, John. You bet.